Welcome to Enter the Unknown. After another couple months break, we are back, finally, in Pokemon White 2. I cleared out most of the trainers in this sort of area, but I do have encounters in Celestial Tower and whatever that route is. So, I'm going to start off with those. I think we're just about done here, though. I think the only thing that is there encounters in this room. Do I ever repel up? No, here we go. Okay. We desperately need something to counter fire types. This seems bad, but everything's randomized, so <laughs> it could be a water type. Um, I will go back through the team in a second. Okay, maybe a steel type? Probably a steel type. Okay. I don't really want to attack. Let's go return. Oh, I forgot I have choice golf. Oops. <laughs> Okay, let's just go Ryan Ultra Ball. No, let's go Great Ball. Weavile would be nice. Do I need a Steel type? It does just increase my weakness to fire, which is already pretty gigantic. We've already got Corsola, Noctowl, Huntail. Yeah, okay, ha yeah, half the team, I think, is weak. Because Noctowl is part bug. Huntail is part ice, and Corsola is pure steel, so we could really do with anything that counters fire, because we have ground on two of them, but to be in for a fire type with something that's weak to fire types is not ideal. Uh, Weavile's being- a oh, steel flying maybe? Using roost? Not really sure. But yeah, we have the encounter in the next route, and then I think we're done here. And we can move on to whatever's next, I've got no idea. This is a very poorly put together run of the game. I am really lost at most points. I did want to talk about this, because <laughs> I was trying to find a way to do it in a video, and there's simply no way to shoehorn it into a video, except for this one, where I can talk about anything. Um, anytime I talk about the probability of move striking, there is always a comment that's like, that's not how probability works. So, I'm just going to explain how probability works very briefly. Because people don't understand, and that's not good. You need to know how probability works, it's important. If a move, so we're going to take the Thunder example, because that's the last one I can remember. I think it was... Was it Ash in Hoenn? Yes, because it was Tate... No, it wasn't Tate and Liza. Was it Tate and Liza? Or was it Watson and I got really lucky with Thunder? Anyway, I got really lucky with Thunder in one of those. And so Thunder has 70% accuracy. And somebody was saying, like, because the first one doesn't affect the second one, it's always 70% accuracy. And yes, the move is 70% accurate. By the way, we are being an absolute nightmare. The move is always 70% accurate. That does not change. But the likelihood of hitting it back to back to back to back to back, whatever I did, does not remain at 70%. That's just not how anything works. Okay, I just sneezed, which is why there was just a big cut in audio. Basically, the first one is a 70% chance to hit. That's always going to be true if, of your first attack off Thunder. But the second one... If the first one has hit, because there was a 30% chance of it missing, also I just call Weavile with like 10 balls, but that's fine. Uh, Weavile is going to be... Uh, what do we think it is? Steel flying maybe? Uh, this is going to be... I... I... Iro. I... This is gonna be, this is gonna be a Roni. Okay, um, so because the first one had a 30% chance to miss, that means that the, the percentage chance of hitting two in a row is not 70%. Because the first one hit, you multiply together the chances of each one hitting. Oh, it's now summer. And now it's autumn. <laughs> and now winter. That was a very, it took us a long time to walk out that door. Uh, we will go and check on Weavile in a second. Anyway, so, water type, water type, water type. 
Okay, well that's good, because a grass type is likely not going to still be- Wait, By the way, I was not paying any attention to what was happening to Cookie in that battle. I probably should have been. Okay, um, because the first one- Ooh, that was not good. And I didn't see what it was. Let's go out to Manta. Manta can take hits. Um, so because the first one hit, the second one is no longer- The chance of hitting two in a row is not 70%. Otherwise, you would likely hit Thunder all the time. So, uh, 7... So, 0.49%. Not 0.49%. 0.49, or 49%, is your chance of hitting two in a row. Chance of hitting three in a row? 334.3%. And it continues going down and down and down. Now, the easiest way to explain this is if you flip a coin twice, what is the most likely outcome? It's not to get heads twice, and it's not to get tails twice, it's to get one head and one tail. Why? By the way, I, I <laughs> if you've stuck with me to whatever we're at, like four minutes, thank you. Um, this isn't all going to be about maths, but it's very important that we get through this. Uh, also, I caught Pansage right away. Uh, this is... Uh, I usually just go for different herbs, so this is time. Uh, time the Pansage. I also was not paying attention to what moves Pansage was using, so let's go and look at their typings. Okay. Right. So, if you flip a coin twice, there is a 25% chance that it will be two heads. There is a 25% chance that it will be two tails. And there- oh no, this trainer always wants to battle. And there is a 50% chance that it will be one of each. Because you're guaranteed to hit on the first one. So even though, on every go, each of the outcomes has a 50% chance, it doesn't mean every outcome is equally likely. Because on your first flip, you're guaranteed to hit either a head or a tail, and that's the coin lands on its side, but that's incredibly unlikely. Uh, so the probability for one option is much better, which is why it's not a 70% chance to hit 10 thunders in a row despite what people think. And that is the end of my rant on probability. If I'm talking about it, and you think that doesn't sound, it's right, it's probably right. Just, just, just take my word for it. Or don't, question it. I could be wrong. I'm probably not though. Just, just in this case, probably not. Okay, now, I won't talk about probability for the rest of the video, I promise. Uh, but let's look at the new team members. We've got BC. Uh, move. Okay, so we have Poison Flying Weavile with Sticky Hold, Holding the Muscle Wing, Roost, Acid Armor, Drill Peck, and Heavy Slam. And Pure Water, oh my god, are we going to have to bring in a Pan Sage? What are your stats like? Uh, we might have to bring in a Pan Sage. Ooh. I don't think they're very good. Natural Cure as well. Oh, wow. Weavile is fast. Hmm. Well, they're both pretty underleveled. So, I won't bring them in now. But we might have to consider bringing... Oh, God. I don't want a Pan Sage. We might have to consider Pan Sage. Possibly. But I'll do it between videos because they're... Pretty underleveled. That's another thing I did, um, I did level everyone up a bit off screen. So we're, we're around 36 across the board. Octo is up at 37. I'll just go through quickly because I think we had a couple of move changes. So Octo, no Surf now. That was probably a thing before. Uh, Fire Fang, Amnesia, Mist Ball, Shadow Ball. I'm going to try to keep it <laughs> just using Fire Fang, even though I've got two super, it's not, not super, I've got two good stab moves. Um, they're both special attacks and Ubi is not a special attacker. Uh, Lux learned Sacred Sword. I remember that. Uh, pretty mixed attacker. All of those moves, pretty good. Uh, Ralos. I don't know. I really feel like Ralos is way better than the stats suggest. Like, statistically, Ralos doesn't look that good. But Ralos is the best. And, yeah, Manta is still a beast. Um, incredibly so. And can't really deal any damage, but a beast. Oh, also learned... Ice Ball? That's new, right? We have Frost Breath. Yeah, so we've got Ice Ball now. 
Holding the Rocky Helmet, of course. And Choice Scarf. Why are we Choice Scarf? Is Choice Scarf... I thought Choice Scarf was attack. I'm so bad with... Oh no, Choice Band is attack? What, is Choice Scarf special attack? Guys, I'm sorry. Uh, if Choice Scarf is special attack, then that is the correct thing to have on. But... This is where you shouldn't trust me. Don't trust me on the... On math? Fine. On item usage? No. Boost speed. Um... It's not the best for Cookie. I'd rather go... Go Lucky Egg. Hmm. Let's go... Oh. Hmm. Maybe go Air Balloon? I think we go Air Balloon, just to get that avoidance of a, gro of a ground type attack. Is that what Air Balloon does? That's what Air Balloon does, right? Just, just in case. Okay, already healed. Let us move on. Okay, I think we want to go over here, based on the small bit of research I did. I believe this is where we need to go. You guys? Looks like the professor's reached a stopping point in her investigation. Ready to hop aboard my plane? Sure. Yee! Ready for takeoff. Okay, Skyla, we're ready. Please take us to Lentimas Town. Lentimus. Lentimas. Wait! You guys, wait, 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 wait! I want to fly too! I want to do some research in Reversal Mountain! Bianca, you're here? You're starting to show the dedication of a serious researcher these days. Okay, everyone, off we go to Lentimas Town. Hee hee! Looks like everyone's here! Finally, it's time to fly the universe skies. I do not know what awaits us in Lentimus Town. Not a gym, I'm guessing, but probably encounters. I'm. I, I think finally, with Pan Sage, we have a water type, but it's not a great water type. I would rather. No, I get. I, water is the best type for us, but I. I would just rather a better Pokemon. Okay, we good. Can we go? Well, I suppose I should tell you why I brought you out here. You probably should. Jaren told me that a group of people calling themselves Team Plasma are planning to use a legendary Pokemon to take over the Unova region. As you may know, in the Unova region there are two legendary Dragon-type Pokemon, Reshiram and Zekrom. I did know that. But two years ago, Reshiram and Zekrom each recognized the trainer as a hero. They are, they are following those trainers. So Team Plasma shouldn't be able to use the Dragon-type Pokemon. That's true, what could they be planning? There is much we don't know about Reshiram and Zekrom, that's why I want to hear what Opelousa's gym leader, Drayden, has to say about this. He's a giant type gym leader. Finally, okay. I want you to go to Oop, Oop, Oopelousid? I want you to go to Opelousid City and hear what Drayden has to say. And I would also like you to tell me if something happens. Okay. Thank you. It's really best not to get involved with Team Plasma to start with. I guess I'm going to get involved with them. But still. Hearing what Drayden has to say about the Dragon-type Pokémon will be really interesting. And more importantly, it will help fill up the pages of your Pokédex. I'll be in the volcano just beyond here. Hopefully it doesn't erupt. I'm going to investigate the rumors I've been hearing about a rare Fire-type Pokémon in Reversal Mountain. Okay, we good? Can I go? Thank you. So, once around here, we got some houses, it's probably some items, but I'm, I'm good on items. Uh, somebody tell me if I missed something key. Because we're over oh, we're Mountain. Here we go. Encounter. Wow, this is just going to be all encounters. Oh, okay. I'll take a Pampy. Especially if you're a water type. Please be water type. Okay. Air Balloon. Is Air Balloon going to be dead after one use? Or is it going to actually be useful? Shadow Punch. Oh, that's not going to attack me. Okay. Uh, again, don't really want to attack. Probably could have bought some balls. But we're okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, so right now we have really bad fire weakness, kind of bad, there's something else, oh, fighting we're not great on, because Corsola, Kingler, oh we got Fan that's good. We got Corsola and Kingler, maybe one other weak to, oh, Manta is also weak to fight, for, uh, fighting, but we do have Cherim who's super effective against it, but then at the same time, Cherim's Psychic attack is terrible. Hopefully Cherim learns Zen Headbutt or something, some sort of physical psychic type move. Uh Fampy is Got nothing. Give me a second. Uh This is again, we're just putting in letters. This is 
Wait, we're almost there. Lu Luz Luzia. This is Luzia. I was there the whole time. Already had you. Okay, I think Ghost, I guess. I only I only saw Shadow Punch, I wasn't really paying attention. Let's check. Only because we're right here, and we may as well. Someone's BC. Deposit. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. And move. Okay, look at this. We're actually building up. How many are gone? Only four. So, you know, we're actually building up more Pokemon to choose from than I've lost. Pure Ghost, Vault Absorb. That's kind of handy. Bite, Shadow Punch, Facade. Pretty good little moveset. How are your stats? Very good defensively. Okay, special Attacker, too. That's actually bad for someone with Shadow Punch, but presumably... Luzia will learn Shadow Ball or something. Okay, so we got a few options that I will... I, I rarely add Pokemon mid-episode just because they're usually super underleveled and it would take ages to train up. So I'll just look and see how I feel. Oh, can I get to that item in this direction? And let me throw up a repel, which I think are somewhere. There we go. In my special just one repel pocket. Okay. No. Can we get through there? No. Okay. Uh, let's take this trainer on. You like? Oh, I skipped over what you said. I am sorry. Yeah, I still have no idea why the first text box is just not happy. It just does not want to show. Ooh, wow, we... I thought I got our levels to, <laughs> to a decent point, but I guess not. Uh, I was going to immediately switch out. I was like, oh no, this is bad. But, um, it's not really, because Golem's probably not ground type. Oh wow, paralyzed first turn. Also, I know I said that I was going to do this last time. I know last time was like a year ago. But, uh, I did actually turn off battle effects. Which I do, I just think it speeds everything up. And they're not really that important here. Okay, special attack is looking good. Also, that was so clean. <gasps> Ooh, I do want... I mean, I talked about Thunder so much now, I feel like it would be weird not to get it. I just think my attack is not that good. I mean, I would love to use, lose Fly, but Fly is just going to save me so much time. And Cookie is the only one that can learn it. Okay, do I get rid of Return? I mean, we're not going to get a better... Do I get rid of Discharge and just go risky with it? No, I'm going to get rid of Return. Because I, I really want Glare, can't get rid of Fly. And I just think... I, I don't think Kingler has like any physical attack, so Return is not that useful here. Um, I guess we'll stay on the stream too, because we actually, actually did pretty well there. Hello. I'm going to not skip your attack spot. Shift gears and Bob's your uncle. You'll be going full speed in no time. Okay. Do I have a bike? I genuinely can't remember if I ever got a bike. I must have a bike, right? I'm completely blanking. Ooh, level 37 Bidoof. Okay. I think... Yeah, I mean, I guess if they, these are like single trainer people, at least they don't have like teams of level 37s. So I don't think I... Oh, wow. Not, not very effective. Oh, wow, that was everything. Not very effective. Crit. Hit with thunder. That was a mess. Okay. Uh, let's grab this. Moo Moo Milk. Can always use Moo Moo Milk. And let's get into the mountain. I have no idea how much we're going to get done. I mean, we caught three Pokemon, so that's a good start. Uh, what is... Do I still have my repel up? Because that would be handy. This does not count as a different... I mean, I guess... Did it say anything different? I, I would count this as the same area. I mean, it looks different, but there's no text change, so I'm, I'm saying this is the same. So, no encounter here. Unless it changes here. Nope. Hey, Bianca. Oh, hey, FJ. Um, you know what? There's something I want to investigate here in Reversal Mountain, but the wild Pokemon here are really tough and I'm having trouble with them. Could you come with me, please? Yeah, I guess. Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of healing your po our Pokemon, okay? Ready, let's go. 
Alright, these sections... Kind of annoying sometimes. Oh, wow. It's probably not a great idea to have no idea where I'm going. Um, especially in a volcano. Yes. Can you, I don't... Oh. I was hoping to avoid the trainer. Whoops. Stood right in her path. Okay. Nope. Nope. First tax box. She's not happy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, what? Bianca's not even going to help? Right, that's probably for the best, to be honest. Okay. This is going to be the first on-screen <laughs> triple battle. I did one off screen, like before getting into, I don't even know where it is, it was ages ago though, um, let's try and paralyze Dialga right off, and then bulldoze, <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to bulldoze, oh, no, I can't use bulldoze then, let's go ice ball on Dialga, and let's go magnet bomb on Dialga, kind of worried about the Dialga, oh, quick claw, Okay, didn't do much. Diago's paralyzed. Mid Arena Foresight. Ice Ball hits. Super effective as well. Mega Horn. That's not too bad. Whirlwind. Okay. Who's coming in? Okay, okay. So what was super effective? Ice was super effective. So now let's go Thunder. Okay, no, let's not. Let's go Discharge. Oh, don't want to. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, God, this was almost like I planned it. So that's not going to affect Manta. Then Manta, okay, Cherim can go Fire Fang on Dialga again. Okay. Don't look like Manta. Hits those two, good. Splash, nice. Don't know who used Splash. I, I hope it was Dialga, that would be hilarious. Bug Buzz. Oh, wow, okay, Cookie. Cookie's a bit weak, but I think we're okay. Let's go Discharge again. And go... No, your turn is actually going to be used to heal up. Uh, let's go Lemonade. Oh, I bought a ton of Lemonade. I don't know if that was since the last part, but I did it <laughs> at some point. Okay, and use that there. Okay, there we go. Executor down, Dialga down. Ooh, okay. Oh no, there was also... There was also a triple battle in the last route. The one, not the one just there, but the last one next to the... Tower. My my brain just broken. Can't remember what anything is called. Sky. Sky. Nope. I've got nothing. Okay, it's Nidorina who's been using Splash. Um, can I do anything? I can't. Right. Okay. I guess you just heal up. <laughs> Manta. Don't really know what else to do. And you can firefight. Okay. Lemonade. Ooh, good fire fan. Right, that was like shockingly solid. Wow, go team. Proud of that one. Okay. Right. So Bianca's gonna heal us. And we can go on. Are we going? Okay, there's a double battle. Which suggests that's probably the way we want to be going. I would guess, although she was sitting in the way of this door. Okay, okay. Fist Blade. Alright, let's do this double battle and try and move on a bit, and I'll see. Because I feel like we're in like 20 minutes. I want to try and keep it around 30 ish. I'm the treasure hunter pretending to be a backpacker. That's really weird. Woo! Mountain! Okay. That, that triple battle, I like triple battles. Is that a triple battle or is it a rolling whatever? I'm, I didn't play Gen 5 when it came out. I played it like three years later and nobody was talking about it anymore. And I've, oh, oh right. <laughs> I'm so confused. I was like, I got a Ponyta? When did that happen? Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm so, I don't care if I knock out Bianca. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bianca, I don't care. Oh no, I paralyzed her Ponyta. I am the worst partner in a double battle in this game. I think I was screwing over Sharon when we had him as well. Ooh, I'm a star. Ooh, 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 star. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna... I think it's not very effective, maybe, is it? Yeah, okay, I think it's not very effective on Ponyta. So I don't feel that bad. I'm just 
gonna keep keep going. Discharge hits both of them, so. And it doesn't really matter too much if I knock out her Ponyta. I mean, I'll feel bad, but she's gonna heal it back up. You know, I like Ponyta, but I'm just... I'm, oh my god, Cookie is so good. I should switch Cookie off the front before Cookie gets to, like, level 50. Before anyone else even gets to level 37. Okay. I'm pretty happy with the team. It's also such a weird team. I feel like it's, like, not a common group of Pokemon at all. I'll help out, hopefully, by not attacking her Ponyta. There we go, and Thunder hits again. Not very effective. Thunder has been used twice, hit twice, not very effective both times, and it scored knockouts both times. Thunder is good. Okay. Have you heard of the Magma Stone? They say it lies in a volcano somewhere and has something to do with Pokemon. You'll put it somewhere or remove it from somewhere and it'll summon some Pokemon? No one's that clear on the details. That's like me trying to describe anything. Okay, let's go this way. Possibly. Nope, that's where I just came from. Uh, this feels like, yeah, I was gonna say, this feels like an item, but... Ooh, Baton Pass, that could be interesting. Do I actually have any <laughs> Pokemon that can, like, boost stats? I can't actually remember. Yes. Okay, this looks like... Was that a way out? Or is that... Okay. Oh, right, way out. Okay, let me just check what's down here, then. Trainer? Let's see if there's something past the trainer. I'm gonna follow for a second. When are you gonna turn around? Right. Nailed it. Ooh, there's more. Okay. Oh, FJ! Here, this is the place. Let's loop around a little. Okay. There's something down there. There's this woman. Um. Okay, there's way more in this direction than I thought. Are you gonna be an item? Are you gonna be an item? Yes, full incense. Are you gonna be an item? Probably not. Okay, let's head down this one. There's another couple trainers. Well, let's try and do this note double. I'd rather... <laughs> the ROM has sort of squished that guy's face to look weird. I'll knock you down with mountain power. Or was that her? I don't know. Sounded like something he would say. Okay, fan Wellington and somebody. Botanist Max. Okay, this would be great if this was, uh, well, it would be bad for me, but it would be great for Bianca. I didn't take, <laughs> didn't take Kingler off the front, but I'll remember, ooh. Oh, that's bad, Breloom is a, f oh, wow, okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> Breloom is a fighting type still, by the look of it. I think it was Breloom who hit the, I think Breloom hit the, um, Sky Upper Cup. Wait, is Sky Upper Cup fighting? I always think this, but is Skyrocket actually flying? I feel like I always get it wrong. And I always think it's fighting, so maybe it's not fighting, maybe it's flying. I'm never gonna get used to it. No matter what it is, I don't know. Maybe I thought it was- no, I, it sounds so fighting-y. I, I think it's fighting, which means I think it's actually not fighting and it must be flying. Which makes no sense. I mean, it does, but not in my head it doesn't. Oh, did I knock out her ponytail? Huh? <laughs> I love her team. Her team her team is actually like a really fitting Oh, sorry. I think that was me. So so sorry me. <laughs> sorry, Wooper. Um her team is like a really fitting Bianca team. Ponyta and Wooper, I like that for her. Okay, <laughs> I really need to take Kingler off the front. Okay. But also I I like that we're like on par, level-wise. It keeps things interesting. Uh, okay, let's go... Oh, things just go so much quicker <laughs> with Gucky on the front. But let's go like that. Manta is... Look, Manta is the star. We all know that. Oh, shiny stone. Manta is the star, but Manta is not fun to, tra <laughs> to train up or battle with at all. Oh my god, there's so many trainers in here. Yes, please. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure there's nothing back here. I'm pretty sure, like, in this direction. I feel like that's just gonna lead me back to where I was, so... Let's do this double battle. Okay. Let's train, we'll get stronger with our Pokémon. Then we can challenge the gyms in places like Okaloosid and Humalau City. Okay. 
How is magma created? Can you answer that? Um, just kind of created? Just kind of happens in the Earth's crust. Performer? Oh, ooh, Celebi. I didn't even see what the first one was. Rhyhorn and Celebi. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you see, for the double battle especially, I really would like Cookie up front. Okay. Good dodge. Sacred Sword. Oh! One shot crit, super effective. First use of Sacred Sword. That was nice. What's up to 37? Yeah, you see, we got levels really quickly here. Because. Oh, I thought I said Simi Sage. Uh, Simi Seer. Maybe they switched all the typings around. So if Simi Sage went to water, then Simi Seer would be. grass, I guess? Sacred Sword? Oh! Wow, I'm getting very lucky. Oh, I need to heal. Okay, Ponyta, you're 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 in charge this turn. Uh, do I need? Yes, I do. No, I don't. That was bad, bad, bad work. I thought it said 150, but it says 130. What guard? This little crash. Ironhead, good work. Look at Bianca. Bianca's putting in the work here, which is nice considering I spent the last two battles knocking out her team. Uh, that should do it, I'm guessing. Nope. Okay. Rhyhorn's still pretty defensive. Oh yeah, we also got bulk up. I don't know if that was a TM or if I learned it, but that should be handy for Lux. Let's go Secret Sword once more. Oh, what? Ponyta. Nice. Wow. What want to work, but... It, oh, right. I just realized Bianca's, like, way higher level than us. Um, this way looks like the wrong way, so let's check what's in this direction. Relic Crown. I'm guessing that's a great item in the regular game. It's like a rare candy. Okay. We've got you. Got this. Life Orb. I just like check items in between parts because I pick up so many usually that it's too much to just check. Okay, you see this is the problem <laughs> when I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I found two different exits now. So well Oh and Delatown is right through here. I wanna keep looking for a little bit. Should we go should we, we should, what do you want to do? Should we say bye for now? No. Let's go back to the other exit. <laughs> because maybe that is where we should be going. Ah, uh, I think we've battled everyone except for you, I guess. So let's go all the way back this direction. Oh, there. Haven't been down there. So Undela- oh, another battle. So I'm just going to check the other one. I'm guessing the other one is maybe a different town, possibly? I'm not sure. Okay. I like it. Oh, right. Okay, back into triple. This team is a little less threatening. Oh no, okay, so this is the, this is the, I can't remember what this is called, like a rolling battle or something. Uh, let's go Sacred Sword. You see the, <laughs> no, that was a re, <laughs> what's this guy's name, Malcolm? <laughs> that was a bad switch, Malcolm. That was really <laughs> a rotation battle, there we go. Um, that was <laughs> not a clever switch. Uh, oh, we could have switched to Manta, I guess. I don't really know how it works. I don't think I've ever done this before. Maybe once. Okay. I'm sort of letting... Uh, oh, no, this is going to be... If he switches back and attacks, we might faint. Um, can we not... Oh, God. Manta literally... <laughs> did Manta just go 5 HP, 4 special defense, and 0 on everything else? Pretty classic Manta there. Mm, disable. I prefer sand attack and I prefer hail. If you <laughs> if this is your first uh, venture into this series, Manta basically <laughs> can't deal any damage. It's really quite impressive. Uh, let's go keep old moves. Um, yeah. So hail, hail is like a a decent. Oh, please don't attack. Okay, okay. How do I rotate? I genuinely have no clue how this works. How do I rotate? What? How does this battle work? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, 
Let's go bulldoze, so we can switch. Yeah, you see, I, I'm just a little bit worried. Well, there you go. I mean, super effective that time. But I was just a little bit worried that we were going to get screwed up there. Um. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to go down. Oh, the chart. Um, I just want to check that this other exit is in fact... I'm assuming a different town, or is it also going to be in Dallas town? Don't battle me. Okay, thank you. Uh, wait, where? There's so many di What? I didn't go down here, did I? I'm guessing I'm actually supposed to go down there. Yes. I'm glad it stopped me, because I think I was about to walk into this battle. We've got a, we've got quite a bit of battling done here, which I don't feel like we always do. Uh, so just check. This is... Oh wait, this is where we want to go? Nope. <laughs> Should've just gone out there the first time. Would've saved me two minutes. Wait, I didn't go down this way. Also just a dead end? No, I don't. Max Repel? Take that. And... Sold you. Okay. Alright. Let's head down that first set of steps, I guess. Can we just dodge this lady? E. Uh, maybe we should just call it here. I think I'm going to call it here. Because I, I don't know where we're at. I think we're like 35 minutes, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to call it here, and we'll just continue this in the next part. If it's nothing, then it's nothing, and we'll move on. But I think it might take some time, and I don't want this episode to be like an hour. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this took nine years, and I'll see you next time.